I don't have a ghastly figure, so uh, we're going to have to make do with this. Anyway, boom. So uh, in this package that I originally thought was cookies <laughs> is a Pokemon trading card game trick or trade booster bundle. So this is like a little thing they put out for this year. Um, little packs of cards um, to, I guess, give out to trick or treaters, which I think is a really cool idea. Um, but I picked one up just to maybe do a video about them. Uh, I've been wanting to do Pokemon card videos again, but, um, I don't know. I, I don't really see myself as much of a collector of Pokemon cards these days, but, uh, Hey, it's Halloween. I'll make an exception. So, uh, you get 50 mini packs. I think there's three cards per pack in this. And of course it's Halloween themed. So it's going to be mostly ghost types. I think there's a Pikachu in there as well. There you see Pikachu horrified at Mimikyu who hates Pikachu, loves Pikachu. I don't remember what the full lore behind this one is, but I, I do like them. Um, so yeah, there was, um, uh, before anybody says anything, by the way, uh, there was a lot of these at the store. Okay. Um, I know there's been that thing about, uh, Pokemon card, you know, people buying and scalping Pokemon cards, but that seems to have kind of passed, uh, except for in rare occasions when they do like a really, really exclusive thing. Like there was some, I think, museum giving out like a, a, a Pokemon card based on Vincent Van Gogh painting. And there was like a line out the door to get it. And it was all like middle-aged men looking to make a buck out off of it. And it's like, oh God. Uh, but no, there was many, many of these at the store. Not only was there many of these at the store, uh, I was at Costco and they had these there also in bigger packs. There was a full palette of them. Okay. So there, these are plenty. I didn't take Pokemon cards from any kids. In fact, um, I think I'm not going to open this whole pack. I'm going to maybe save a bunch to give out to trick-or-treaters. Um, and I, I don't think anything in this set is particularly valuable or rare or sought after. I think they're just cards just to give out to kids for fun. Because kids are allowed to have fun with Pokemon cards. Never forget that. All right. Uh, I think this set is like 20 or 30 cards. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out as we open this. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to open up the, the entire pack. But uh, we'll, I'll open them until I'm either satisfied or maybe we get the full set. I don't really know. So here they are. Trick or trade in this nice, uh, very nice purple pack. Uh, I also have a couple other things that we're going to maybe open up to if uh, this doesn't really go that well or this does not take that long. All right. Here we go. First pack. We're going to have a look at these. If I can get it open. <clears throat> Boy, can you tell I don't normally do trading cards? All right, there we go. It has been breached. Eh. And it's still, it's still not, there they are. Okay, there they are. So we have uh, Duskull, uh, Dusk Noir, and Drifflin. I thought that was gonna be like the full evolutionary line. But uh, yeah, as you can see, they're just, uh, they're just generic cards. You get a little stamp on there to say that they're from the set. There are... 109, well, 198? No, that's not, that, that, that can't be right. Oh, I think this is the numbers from the, the respective sets these are originally from. Okay, well, um, I guess I'll just keep going. There they are. Uh, let's take this one open. You know what, we're just going to do this to save time. <laughs> Whoa, uh, I did not cut it to the card, thank God. <laughs> Not that they really have any value. I'm basically just doing this for fun anyway. Uh, Lycanroc, the uh, werewolf Pokemon. Oh, there are hollows. Was there a hollow here? Did I miss it? Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. All right. Again, I don't think anything in this set is particularly valuable. I mean, maybe in certain, uh, you know, for certain Pokemon, I'm sure the Pikachu probably goes for a bit. Uh, Chandelure. One of, I actually really like this evolutionary line. Because it starts out as a cute little candle guy, which I think is the best one. And then uh, turns into a lamp, and then it turns to a chandelier. And they're like eerie, creepy ghosts that take you to the afterworld. And there's Miss Magius. Ah, uh, Hazel, my Miss Magius, who took down Cynthia's Garchomp when I played <laughs> Shining Pearl. When I uh, streamed it. That was an incredible moment. She took two hits to the face while she had one HP. Because her friendship was so high. 
Uh, Hazel, we love you. My, my, one of my champions. And speaking of, uh, love, there's Haunter, one of the best because of, uh, uh, hey, there's Gengar too. So, okay. So do you get, no, no, you didn't, uh, and, uh, Murkrow. Okay. So there's no, uh, not, not just, um, not just ghost types in here. Cause Murkrow is typically dark flying, I think, or maybe just mono dark. Uh, what's interesting I find about the Pokemon trading card game is that, uh, there is no ghost typing. This is psychic. Um, and I, I think several other, um, several other typings were left out of the card game. I don't know the card game that well. Why did they do that? <laughs> I think, uh, I want to say ground type might be. Might, might not be in there. Maybe the dragon type as well. I don't remember. Uh, I know they added in um, like dark and fairy later, but I don't know. Um, I don't know why. Why are certain typings just not in the in the card game? It doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe because uh, the card game came out early, like around the time Gen One came out, and you know, for like for for like the ghost types, there was only the three, so maybe they they just had to compensate for that. Anyway, Zubat. Everyone's favorite when you're uh, going through the cave. Oh, uh, Spect Spectreer, the um, ghost horse from Sword and Shield. Uh, easily the best of the two horses. I mean, like, come on. Uh, why wouldn't you? And there's another Miss Magius. All right. We're just going to keep going. Uh, how many packs is that so far? Four? Okay. Let's, um, let's stop at ten and see where we're at. And then uh, I have some other stuff we can open up as well, just to, you know, proud out the video. Phantom. Oh, Phantom. This one has a very interesting backstory. <laughs> uh, apparently, it is the uh, ghost of a child who got lost in the woods, and it became this. Freaking weird. Uh, there is Houndoom. Very nice. Hollow. And uh, Miss Magius again. Maybe I should keep one of the Miss Magius cards. <laughs> I have three of them now. All right, this is number six. Yeah, this is apparently a very small set, and I, I do believe these are just re, like redistributed from other sets. Uh, there's uh, Lampent. There's uh, Marsh Shadow, who I don't usually think about much, but I kind of he's kind of growing on me. He's a fighting ghost type, and there's another Murkrow. Is that a different Murkrow? Nope, it's the same Murkrow. It's the same. Uh, sometimes I know they add uh, different artworks of different Pokemon or the, of the same Pokemon in each um, in each set. But uh, you know, like I said, I'm not an expert on the card game. I mentioned, I think, in the previous video, which was like oh, like a year or two ago, when I opened up Pokemon cards, that uh, hey, there's Litwick. Oh, is this one of the 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 Play-Doh? claymation uh claymation does uh like a sculpted clay figure i know they do that for the card game looks good i like them uh and there's a uh, chandelure again and uh shop it so um we can uh no no this is bayonet not not miss magius Th those two pokemon have very similar pre evolutions um i mentioned i think in the um the older video where I opened up Pokemon cards that I had a bit of a set of the um, first three sets, uh, uh, the original set, Fossil and Jungle, I think. I think those are the first three sets. And uh, I sold them because I didn't really need them anymore. There's Dusclops, and so now we can get the full... Hey, there's Pikachu. There you go. <laughs> of course, you have to include Pikachu. And, oh, it's Graveyard from the new, the new one. Oh, the ghost dog. I love him. He's great, except for when he drains your energy and life force, as per the uh, promo video when he got introduced in the new gen. Anyway, as I was saying, I had a, a set of the um, original three sets, and uh, I sold them, because I didn't need them anymore. Kind of regret that, but uh, let's just say I didn't regret how much I got for them. Uh, see, we got uh, Sinisty. There is a Trev Trevenant. The um, this is the evolution of uh, Phantom. It turns into a big angry tree, and another Murkrow. Very good. All right, uh, where are we at here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, th okay, that's nine. Um, 
There's 50 packs in this. Like I said, I'm not going to open them all. So this is number 10. I definitely want to save some for the, uh, the kids. Because that's what a good person does. Because the... I might even give uh, some of the cards I open to Trick or Treaters. There's Ghastly. Ah, oh, he's so happy. Look at him. I really do got to get a Ghastly figure to round out my uh, my, my set here. Uh, another Treven Trevenant and another Shuppet. Okay, we're starting to see uh, we're starting to see doubles. Let's do five more. Do go fifteen. I think that's good enough. And we'll have a look at the uh, the ones we got already. Uh, there's another Haunter. There's, oh, there's Mimikyu. Very good. And uh, Graviart. Ah, he's so good. I love him. Just don't pet him. He will kill you. <laughs> it's interesting that one came up, but uh, we'll talk about that when I get into some of the other stuff that I have we can open. Uh, so this is 12, I think. Uh, Lycanroc. There's a Spectreer. And Drifloon again. Yeah, we're getting doubles. We might. I, I might have uh, gotten the full set already. So you know what? Let's uh, let's just pull a couple more out here, and uh, just check them out. We got uh, Runrigus, Rune the um, uh, Galarian version of Coffergrigus, uh, Coffergrigus, uh, Houndoom, and uh, Drifflim. Okay, we didn't don't have Drifflim for sure. We didn't have the the other guy, the 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 Celtic rune version of Cofagrigus. Co that is how you say that, right? Uh, Zubat. There's another Pikachu and Shuppet. Okay, I think we might have the full set at this point. Ooh, camera. Stay in focus. So this will be the last one, and we'll look at the other stuff I got. So this one will have uh old oh, Delmise. Oh, wow, that's another one I don't think about very often. Shindelure and another Murkrow. All right, I think I'm good. <laughs> uh, there's still quite a few left. I will uh, reserve these for the trick-or-treaters. I'm sure they'll be very happy to receive Pokemon cards. Um, I bet no other house on the block will be giving out Pokemon cards. But uh, we'll see. Maybe some other people bought them. All right, so uh, in addition to that, in case um, we didn't really get a whole lot, I mean, this set's kind of cool, but um, uh, there's nothing really special. So I picked up some other stuff. Um, trying to keep with the theme, I picked up this set, um, and it has the evolution of uh, the dog, the, the ghost dog, uh, Houndstone, which is a big skeleton dog. I actually tried to find other ghost-related things but um surprisingly hard and um i refused to pay scalper prices online so i just went around to whatever i could find at the stores all right uh so you get the promo card there and you get three scarlet and violet obsidian flames hmm again don't know anything about the set i am not within the realm of knowledge of the uh the card game but we'll do it just for fun eh Eh. All right. Oh yeah. Look at that. We got everything. Okay. So. Uh, oh yeah. You get car. You get codes too. Here you go. Free code. Enjoy. I think that's to get the promo card for the online game. But there it is, right there. He's a uh, cool design. Really, really badass looking. I like him. Uh, I do like, of course, the original. But um, yeah. There you go. Promo card. Very nice. All right. Uh, Obsidian flames. Uh, let me try to remember now. You're supposed to put three, the three back cards to the front, if I'm not mistaken. There you go. There's another code for you. Enjoy that. All right. So, the three back cards. All right. Oh, nope. Apparently not. <laughs> well, there's the reverse hollow. It's a uh, Dratini and uh, Gita. One of the worst champions the series has ever had. <laughs> My God, she was a pushover. All right, well, there, there's the hollows and there's the... Okay, so don't do anything to these, I guess. Uh, there's an energy card. There's a Numel, the camel. Hey, there's our boy, Gre Grievard. I keep forgetting his name despite liking him so much. Ah, oh, look at him. Isn't he the best? 
uh, Tynamo, Phantump, uh, Seismitoad. Probably one of my least favorite Pokemon. I just, I don't know. It's just something, something about it really, like, weirds me out. Uh, Arbor, Ar, Arborleva, the, uh, olive tree Pokemon. <laughs> Cause that's a thing now. Uh, Team Star Grunt, probably one of the worst of the, uh, bad guys of the series. Uh, Rhyme, who is cool. A couple of the gym leaders are really cool in this gen. But, um, yeah. All right, well, that's that. Uh, oh, wait, that's a, that's a reverse. Okay, so you get two reverse cards and one hollow. All right. All right. It is fun opening the packs again. I just don't see myself doing more Pokemon cards. It's something I really don't need to be collecting right now. In fact, I still have all the cards from last time. So, yeah, all right, so we're just going to go with this one. All right, Le Chonk. I found an, uh, an, a shiny one of these <laughs> on my first playthrough, my first video that I did of, uh, of, of Scarlet and Violet on my uh, gaming channel. Go check it out, Rob the Casual Gamer. Could use some subscribers if you want to see me play Pokemon. Barboach, uh, Squavit, the greedy squirrel. We have Wiglet, the little sea worm. Uh, we have, uh, oh, Flamigo. Apparently people hate this Pokemon. It's kind of grown on me a little bit. Um, we have Bronzong, Beartick, Claydol. That's a reverse. There's another uh, Kangaskhan in reverse. And uh, Entei, hollow. Very cool. And there's your fire energy. Like it. Entei is not uh, one of my go-to favorite legendaries but uh he's he's cool nonetheless all right last pack from this and i got one more thing we're gonna open so there you go there is the code if you'd like that enjoy hope you got it all right bonsley dolive the pre-evolution of the <laughs> of the olive tree it's a doll and it evolves from the small of uh time pole Sun Sunskirt, Dragonair, uh, Armor Edge, the um, Armor Rogue rather. The, uh, the the two fighting types in this gen uh, were really cool. Uh, I got the uh, the one with the sword because uh, personally I think it's cooler. Amoogus, there's a uh, Bound Sweet as the rever uh, reverse hollows. There's Sinisty, it's the other reverse hollow, and uh, just a normal hollow of. Uh, Pal Palafin, don't worry, for I am here. The superhero dolphin Pokemon. <laughs> Man, uh, designing Pokemon must be like a fun trip, you know? All right, so that's that pack. Uh, not a whole lot of crazy stuff out of that. Uh, the last thing I have is, let me get rid of some of these because they're making reflections, is um, this. <laughs> it has Gengar on it, so it's, <laughs> it goes with the rest of the set, the rest of the video. <laughs> it's a just a tin and uh I don't, what do you get in here actually um two trade scarlet and violet 151 booster pack one cool coin featuring an energy symbol uh, uh pokemon art card showing the art for this mini tin so it's not an actual card it's just an art card you can't use it for the game lame is this a thing nope all right all right, so there's your, um, is that dark energy? There you go. It landed face down. That's not good. Uh, here is the art card. I didn't realize it was an art card. I thought it was going to be like a, uh, you know, a card for the game. But, oh well. And you get two packs. You get Scarlet and Violet 151. Is this... Is this uh, a set of the original uh, 151 Pokemon, but in Scarlet and Violet for some reason? All right, well, let's find out. There's only two of them, so I'll get through this pretty quick. Uh, here's a code. There you go. Good luck getting it. <laughs> um, I don't know if we got to do anything for these. All right, so we got Machop, Porygon, Electrobuzz, Coughing. Parasect, Cloister, 
Giovanni's charisma. He's very charismatic. Not really. He's more he's more like stoic and mysterious, but whatever. He 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 was probably charismatic to get where he is. Uh Doug Trio. Uh Grimer. Okay, so there's two hollow Oh, 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 it's a Mew. And a and a oh, a hollow energy too. Basic energy. Alright. Not too bad. Uh there's a Mew. I wonder if this is worth a million dollars. I don't know. Leave a comment if I actually pulled anything really, really good. Let me know. All right, last pack. And then I think we're done for today. I have a lot of cleaning up to do. God. All right. Eh. Let me in. All right, here's your, uh, here's your code for the last pack. Have fun getting that. Here, Gengar, hold this. <laughs> Hold it in your... All right, never mind. This Gengar actually does this, which I think is, is really funny. All right, so here we go. We got... Uh, yeah, it does appear to be the 151 original Pokemon. So we got Magmar, uh, Shelder. I should probably not reveal anything. Shelder. Let me... Oh, oh there's the energy. Shelder. Bellsprout. Horsey. Nidorina. Raticate. Erica's invitation to come see her plants. Maybe she can teach you how to keep plants alive. There's a reverse Eevee. There's a reverse uh, Graveler. And an Amistar. Oh, that's a that's cool artwork. It's very ominous. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. There's my uh, yearly Pokemon video. <laughs> a yearly Pokemon... Um... <laughs> Pokemon card video. Maybe we'll do this like once a year or something. I don't know. We'll keep we'll put these in here to keep them safe. Uh, but yeah, it's fun opening card packs. I just you know, I'm not really a uh, a card collector these days. Well, I kind of am, but not for Pokemon cards. But anyway, uh, maybe people like these videos more. Maybe I'll do more of them. But anyway, uh, I believe that'll do it for today. The um, Halloween cards were pretty cool. Uh, I got that Mew. Might be worth a few bucks, but probably not. And uh, I guess I'll save the rest of these for the trick-or-treaters. And maybe I'll leave some of these out for the trick-or-treaters. Yeah, who knows? But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, please give me a like. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment. Let me know if any of the cards I pulled are any good. Or if I should just burn them all. <laughs> uh, Would have been easier just to light my money on fire. Anyway, uh, again, thanks for watching. Uh, have a happy Halloween and I will see you whenever the next video is. So have a good one, folks. Stay safe out there because Gengar is going to get you.